Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening And this is Mario, hello And man, I feel I'm kind of in a good mood to record right now Because I just came back from a recording session And for those of you who watch Mother 3 You should know which recording session it is And ow So if you're like, you know, a cannonball or like a tiger To find the laws of gravity I must, da da da, I forgot the lyrics already So We're still in the Catfish's Mall by the way, Umbrella and I pointed this detail out, and it's pretty cool. In the rooms where you fight the Stolfos, the number of blocks corresponds to the order in, in which the Stolfos appears. So this room has only one block, meaning that you fight, you know, the Stolfos once. I mean, this is the first time you fight the Stolfos. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, a fun fact. This is my second time recording this video because, well, the first time I recorded this video, I felt so much, it actually wasn't funny. So in order to be make a better video, in general, I decided to do it again. Besides, I find this cool trick later on that I think will be very useful. So does- Ow. Stop killing me with your, with your death. Do you remember where I said that? Ah. 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 Sorry, I feel so pumped up to the, you know, right now, so... I feel like... Yeah, a tiger defined the laws of gravity. Gravity. What else can I feel like? Huh? Whatever, just don't stop me now. Because I'm having a good time. Having a good time! Whatever, stop referencing that song, man. I know that Queen is awesome and Freddie Mercury is awesome and he should be, you know, remembered and honored forever and ever. Amen. So we get the Nightmare's Key, now you can open doors and Mega Man, Mega Man. Oh, that wasn't so bad. So, wait a minute, is there anything else to do? Yeah, there is actually. What am I saying? So we've got to go all the way back through this. Dumb water passageway. That's dumb and dumb and dumb and dumb and dumb and dumb. Like this commentary all of a sudden. I thought I was so pump you know pumped up. What happened, man? What happened? Jeez, you let just like go. Whoa. Oh, that was pretty cool. Alright, go, 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 go. Ow, 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 freaking spark. I hate you. I hate you and your family. Oh, I thought I was gonna make a pro jump, but I guess not. I guess I'm not a pro. That could have been cool, but stop killing yourself, Mayo. Hello, jeez. Link has feelings, you know. Just because he can jump and stuff doesn't mean you have to kill him every single. You know, there was a reason why you decided to record this video again because it failed so much before. You know, Mayo. Hello. You know what this is? This is counts as feeling too. So, please. Anyway, so that the comp, our ass comp told us that there's a small key here, so you need to go here for a small key and. Stop it lag, stop it lag. So here, you can get even more rupees and all, but really, I don't need any more rupees. Like, there will be a time when you need, need 300 rupees. I can fairly say that you don't need any rupees coming into Catfish's Mall. You get your 300 rupees right there. Meaning I shouldn't have wasted so much time grinding for rupees before. Jeez. So it's pretty necessary to go back to the beginning of the level. Why? Because it'll make things convenient. Conveniente. Uh, bats. Fats. Mats. Cats. Dats. Just die, people. Die. Anyway, so... We're getting... We're going through the second half of the dungeon and... Oh, we have to kill these Helmosaurs. They're not Helmorocks, they're Helmosaurs. Helmorock is the bird from Wind Waker. You know, the bird. The evil bird. That's not the word. I should actually kill these. Why not? Oh, a piece of power! Why not? Energy flowing through me and my bones is always good, man. Also, your naked Helmosaur. You're not a Helmorock, you're a Helmosaur. Like I said before, oh, I could use some bombs. Like I said before, the Helmorock is a bird that kidnapped Arrow in Wind Wicker. Helmosaur are those annoying shell enemies that, you know, wear Majora's Mask. Helmosaurs were in Majora's Mask. Not. Uh. 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 Actually, let's. Is this the way I want to go? Why not? Let's go through here. Um. Yeah, we have here a key. Da -da -da -da! We got a small key, now we can open stuff. Yay! So let's go back and hookshot like a pro again. Stop it, lag. I know you want to annoy me, and I know that we don't have a good relationship with each other, but that doesn't mean that you, you know, you have to foul a relationship like- Ow. 
Eyeball of doom, death and destruction! Stop shooting fight! Fairy, come back here. Come hither. Thank you. That felt so good. That's just what I needed. Anyway, so we're, we're coming up to a mini boss battle. That's... Some people say it's optional. I don't know what to say about that, but... I have I found a cool little secret about it. You'll need your arrows and your ocarina. Trust me. So these gomas are very annoying in that they never open their eyes. I mean they do, but not so often. But if you play the Marins, if you play the, if you play the Battle of the Windfish, they open their eyes for you. Huh? You're not opening your eyes. I mean you are. The song makes them open their eyes like that. So it's a nice little trick because normally you have to wait for them to open their eyes, and sometimes they don't. And then when they don't, they sometimes charge at you, and it takes so much time and it's so annoying. But this. Um, wrong button. Yeah, so keep on abusing, you know, the Ballad of the Windfish, along with arrows, to kill them quickly. Like, that was rape. I'm sorry to say, but that was rape. The first time, in my f first recording session, when I fought against these dudes, I spent, like, a whole lot of time trying to fight these, but they're easy. They're easy. If you do the trick. Which, not a lot of people seem to know about. Like, I mean, I guess this one guide in game facts says, you know, told me about it, but, yeah. Not even, not even HC Bailey did that trick, come on. Not to brag or anything, but yeah. It's true. So, I don't know, I kind of find that to be a cool trick, so. Although, some people say that the mini boss is optional, but whatever. So, you are the outsider. Come to wake the windfish. Um. And I shall eat you! Oh jeez, you don't have to eat every single visitor who comes to your room, you know? Oh my god, you don't have to destroy your room with your tail and- Oh dear lord. You don't have to destroy your walls as well. Think about the interior design. Oh my god. Lag was so laggy-licious. So, I think I found a new strategy for fighting this boss because the first time I fought against him, I performed so disgracefully. Um, so... He appears randomly from these four holes. Okay, seriously. Seriously. From these four holes, right? Ugh. The tail gets in my way. The tail is getting in my way so much. Remember, the hook shot is your B button, not your. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, screw that. I'm performing just as bad as I was before. Even worse, probably, because I haven't landed a single hit. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do against this boss. There we go. That felt good. Good? That was great! So I think my strategy... Wrong button, dumbass. I guess my strategy is to stay at one half of the room. If you hug the wall, then you'll be safe from the tail. So... And... Also... You can pretty much... Catch the hook, you know, slime eel half of the time. Because my... What I did before in the previous recording session was run around the room with the tail. I'm That's leaving so much up to chance if you do that. If you stay here in one half of the room, then, you know, chances are your probability of hooking that slime eel will be better. Like that, for example. And this is an eel, not a... Wow, see, it's dead already. It took me ages to beat this boss last time. Wait, is it actually talking to us? Bosses talk to us now? You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. <laughs> well, it's an island in the middle of nowhere that I'm stuck at, and there's a windfish. What else do you know? What a fool! You insolent fool! What else? Nice exposition that probably won't have any significance. Whatever. The slime eel is dead. And that's a good thing because the slime eel is a pretty annoying boss. I don't have fond memories of it. So to have killed it rather efficiently this time, I'm happy. I'm happy that I've completed the, the, dun the dungeon more efficiently this time, because last time it took me forever. Like, this would have been the, near the end, 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 end of the video. Stop stuttering. What are you, King George from King's Speech or something? Shrine! And I can secret into the shrine. Ah, oh, my throat. So I guess there's some sort of shrine, I guess. Jeez. How suspicious. 
suspiciously and mis- Don't jump, Link. Jeez. But I can't help it, I love bashing my head against the rock wall. So here's a little fun fact about the mermaid. Well, the mermaid. Originally, in the Japanese version, the necklace is not a necklace. The necklace was a bikini. Meaning... Yep, the mermaid was... Topless. Oh, baby. How scandalous. In a Zelda game, too. Obviously, America has to be America. You know, four kids and stuff, so... They're like, nope, we can't do that. No naked women. Well, no topless women. You know what I mean. Stop doing that to my game, you bombing peasants. Anyways, and now that we have the hook shot, you know what? That dude is getting in my way, so I'm just gonna kill it. Oh, by the way, I can do that too. I meant to shoot him with an arrow right away, but I forgot my buttons. But there's a cool little trick you can do later on. I'll show it off since I have time to do it in this video. So, a mermaid statue and a mermaid scale, which we put into her ass. Jeez. First topless mermaids, now. Penetration. Yeah, I don't know. Now, this room seems empty. This room seems empty, but you want to use your Pegasus boots here because I guess they're invisible enemies or something. Er, oh, hello. That seems like an important item. That's because it has an important item. The magnifying lens. This is the very end of the trading sequence. This is what getting the Yoshi doll was all about. The magnifying lens. Now you may be wondering, what, that's it? Just, it's just magnifying lens. Like, come on, I can just see small things now. That's what big whoop. Indeed, it is, it is kind of a big whoop. But, but, it is very important because it'll get you even more items. In fact, there's this one important item that, well, not important, but like, it's a very good item that you can get only with the magnifying lens. Oh, wow. That's the first time I ever did that. Wow. Killing the Zora with a hookshot. That was unexpected. Let's dive here. And hello, we have the camera dude this time. Yay. He's swimming, minding his own merry business, while the fisherman is doing the exorcist. I have a feeling that I catch a big fish again. Keep your eyes open and watch the pro at work. But yeah, the magnifying lens will be useful for later on because there's like a little random factor. Uh oh, he's been caught. That is a good sprite, actually. That's what she said. I like that sprite, actually. It looks like a very good sprite. You know, him getting caught by the re in a fish. Can you take a picture of this? Sure, why not? S hold your sword up and... You pushed him off? You pushed him off? Link, you bastard! He could have drowned! You pushed him off and then you're like, Oh, I should be sorry, right? Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, oh my god. Like, seriously. You bastard, Link. Anyways, so now that we have more time to do stuff, um, there's actually one thing that I could have done many years ago. Many, 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 many years ago. I hate those bomb dudes. They're annoying as hell. Now I'm gonna show off two ways you can, you can get do this. Like when I first when I got here, I thought you needed an item from a, a dungeon later on in the game. I was wrong. All you need to do is well, this is the. I guess not the intended way for you to do this, but you can do that, and boom, you can just pegasus boots. You can just pegasus boots your way across. However, if you don't want to lose hearts, and you want to take use this cool trick, equip your bomb and arrow, and push both button. Sorry about that. That was weird. Um, I accidentally pressed a button, but yeah, meet the bomb arrows. One of the best things ever. Like. Is it a glitch, or was it programmed on purpose? It may have been intentional because it's so cool! I mean, think about it. You shoot bombs as a projectile now. I mean, that's so cool they even implemented it in Twilight Princess. Like, in Twilight Princess, it's like required to, to use bomb arrows, right? I don't know, but bomb arrows are so cool! It's one of the best things ever. Why can't there be more bomb arrows in Zelda games? Well, aside from, you know, Twilight Princess, but... It's Twilight Princess. Toilet Princess. Oh, uh, what is this? It's Navi, or... It's that dude again. Hey, what's up? Hey, kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now, I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Sir, yes, sir. I can hear you. Oh, more bombs. Oh, no. Whatever am I gonna do? 
Well, besides have a seizure. Hee hee hee, you deserve it. Now look at all the junk you have to carry. Yeah, I know, I do have a lot of that junk on me. Oh yeah. Anyway, so now we can carry up to 60 bombs. Holy mother of mothers. That is a lot of bombs. Like, holy mothers. Of fathers. Anyway, so I think, I think that I'll go do one last thing in this video by going to the beach. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go to the beach. So I'll see you there. And we're back. So we're in this beach area kind of east, no, west of where we found Marin. First, let's kill these enemies and crabs. Enemy crabs. Join enemy crabs in ancient Japan because it's just like ancient Japan. So there's a bomb of a wall that we never bombed before, but that's because we'd never notice anything unless we have a magnifying lens. Yes, this guy doesn't appear unless you have the magnifying lens because he is so tiny. So first of all, let me equip my shovel to B. There we go. I found a good item washed up on the beach. I'll trade it to you for what you have in your B button. What is a B button? Oh my god! The boomerang! Hell. Friggin. Yeah! So who cares about a, you know, shovel? The boomerang is just pure rape! And so we'll do more stuff with pure rape! I mean the boomerang. In the next video. See ya!